talk about normal distributions. If we have a data set and we have determined what the mean and the standard deviation of that data set are, one way to display that on a graph is by using distribution curves. There are several different types of distribution curves. They could be any one of these, box, triangle, or bell-shaped curve here. And it's useful to use the, norm the distribution curves here when we have non-skewed graphs. If we do have skewed or outliers, then the graphs may turn out to be similar to this, where the median is somewhere around the middle number of, of the set, data set, but the mean is being pulled down because of the outliers and because it's skewed. Here, the median would still be around the middle of the data set, but the mean is being pulled down. So this graph here would be called skewed to the left, while this one, this one is skewed to the right, because the tail here is pulling the mean to the right of the median. When we do have symmetrical data, we use the normal distribution bell curve like this. And it's very useful when, determined, when calculating out different things. To set it up, we put the, the mean in the middle, and there's three standard deviations. So we put three lines on either side. If we cut it in half here, because it's symmetrical, this is 50% of the data, and this is 50% of the data over here. It's also been determined that between the first standard deviations is 68%. Between the second standard deviation, it's 95%. And between the third, it's 99.7% of the data. This is known as the 68-95-99.7 rule. To apply this rule, let's say that we gather data about the heights of all the women in our school. We determined that the mean was 64 inches and the standard deviation is 2.7. To set up our graph here, we put the mean in the middle and we subtract one standard deviation value each time we go down, remembering that there's three standard deviations away from the mean. Likewise, on this way, we're going to add 2.7 to each side, creating a number line. If we wanted to know between what two heights does 95% of the um, school, how tall are they? We look at the second standard deviations because the rule was 68, 95, 99.7. So it's the second number corresponding with the second standard deviation. So here's one. And here's two. This is the second standard deviation. And this one here is two, the second standard deviation. So 95% of the girls at our school are between 61.58.6 inches and 69.4 inches. If we have a graphing calculator, we can check this by following the steps down here. Typically for the TI 83 and higher uh, steps. If you go to second variables, which gets the distribution menu, and you pick option two, which says normal CDF. When you click enter on your home screen, this shows up. And what you want to do is put the minimum number and the max number, the mean and standard deviation. So for our example here, the min number was 58.6 and the max was 69.4. Okay? And the mean was 68.95. 
64, and the standard deviation was 2.7. So you, you will enter those values in here and push enter. It, will, it brings up that that is 95.4% of the people, which is very close to our 95% that we said from our 68, 99.7 rule. So that checks out. Now, if we were using data where we were using the end point, like all the way from zero up to, say, 58.6, then our min here would be negative 1 E99. E can be found by pushing second comma. If we were starting at 69.4 and going to the end, anything higher than 69. 69.4, for example, then our min val our max value here would be 1 E99. Basically, these numbers imply infinity. Now, if I wanted to know, if I was 69.4 inches tall, and I want to know what percent of people were higher than, or taller than me, I can do that by starting out with 100% of the data here. Okay? And I know this is the second standard deviation. So I know from here to there represents 95%. So if I do 100 minus 95, I'm left with 5%. Now, that was only between the second standard deviation. So we have this little piece here, and this little piece here. Okay? And we only want this piece here. But because it's symmetrical, we know that this piece and this piece are equal. So if we take that 5% and divide it by 2, we get 2.5%. So 2.5% of people are taller than 69.4 inches. Now, other than using a calculator, we can figure out the probability and percent by hand. To do that, stay tuned for the next video.